Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Now, in this video, I would like to provide instructions on some basic knife skills for those who are uncomfortable or unfamiliar with knife in the kitchen. I would like to show you how to use the vegetable chopper with the claw techniques for safe knife handling. A vegetable chopper comes with a tall blade which is designed specifically for cutting, slicing, and dicing vegetables. First, let me show you how to hold this knife properly to provide maximum control during cutting. I use last three fingers and the palm of my hand to grip the handle of the knife, and then I use my index finger and my thumb to hold the blade of the knife rather than using all my fingers to hold the knife by its handle. This allow me to use my thumb and my index finger to guide the knife in subtle ways. But during cutting, there are two ways to hold on to the item. The first way is to extend the finger to grasp the items. This exposes the fingertip to the knife and it requires close attention to prevent cutting the finger. A safer way is to tuck the fingers toward the palm and beneath the knuckles. I call this the claw technique because it looks like a claw. Now with the fingers curling backwards, the knuckles will be in direct contact with the knife, with the knife's moves up and down, forward and backward, with the fingertips safely tucked in out of harm's way. With this tactile contact between the knuckle and the knife, you can focus on cutting the items rather than focusing on not to cut your fingers if you have extended them to grasp the item. You can use this claw technique with most knives, but it is best with knives having a tall blade because with a larger blade, there are more room for your knuckles to come into contact with the blade. Here is an example of using the claw technique to cut carrots into thin slices. Notice that I tuck my fingers toward the palm of my hand. Uh, as I cut each slice, I gradually move my uh, fingers backwards. As you notice that I constantly have my knuckles in contact with the blade of the knife. But this way I can focus on slicing the carrot in the thickness I want rather than focusing on getting my finger out of the way as I cut. Now here is another example of a slicing something small uh, such as a clove of uh, garlic. Because of the size of the garlic, as you can see, uh, the blade is now in contact with my lower knuckles rather than the upper knuckles as in the case of the carrots. Yeah. In this claw technique, with a knife having a tall blade, uh, you can cut, slice and dice in the kitchen without ever worrying about cutting yourself, uh, making prepping simple, safe and fun.